Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys. To any of you that have a car guys, pretty much any car, and you have problems with your serpentine belt, let's say the serpentine belt keeps coming off guys, you install it and it comes off again. We will explain what most likely causes that guys. I can think of up to five things that we see here very common in the shop. Make sure you stay until the end. We will show you and explain each one of them guys and how it can cause your belt to uh, uh, to actually come off the of the pulleys. So we will cover all that. Before we continue, every single car we get at the shop, we take them completely apart and we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can, guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information. Another thing, guys, if you need tools, parts, anything like that, new belt, we share guys the links in the description of the video below where we get all those tools and parts from. And in addition, we have a channel that uh, talks more about car diagnostics and electrical components. Okay, it's called Electrical Car Repair Life. So please check it out guys. We have quite helpful information there as well. So we'll, we'll demonstrate on two engines today. Okay, because two engines, one is a BMW, one is a Dodge guys. Volkswagen, Porsche, doesn't matter what it is guys, all of them are uh, functioning the same way, exactly the same way. So, you will have your serpentine belt. Okay, this is your serpentine belt. Your diagram belt may look different, you may have five canals, six canals, it really depends on how many accessories the belt runs and how long it is. But usually you have a crankshaft pulley, it's attached to the crankshaft and when the engine runs, the crankshaft is spinning, so the crankshaft pulley is spinning. And that crankshaft pulley is the one that drives your serpentine belt, guys. And most likely, in most cases, it will run your power steering pump. Some newer vehicles have electric power steering pump, but most of them still have the old uh, mechanical power steering pumps. Alternator will be always on the belt. AC compressor and in some cases you may even have a water pump like this one here. This is your water pump. Okay, it's driven by the belt as well right there. Uh, for instance, this BMW has electric water pump so it's not on the belt. But number one thing that we see here, the, here at the shop that causes a belt to come off is a tensioner that fails. This is your tensioner guys. In some cases, okay, it will look different and we will explain two designs that we see quite often at the shop. Sometimes on the tensioner here you will have a place where you install a special tool like Torx 60 or a regular 16 millimeter socket and you usually go clockwise or counterclockwise okay and you can press the tensioner and you remove the belt those are automatic tensioners they have a huge spring on the back that puts constant pressure on the belt uh, now we have another one right here out of a Dodge Jeep Chrysler and Fiat engine this is the tensioner and you actually install the tensioner okay on the pulley itself and you just move it, okay, you can see it has an integrated spring inside, you move it like that, you can see, and you release the belt. This is your idle pulley, check how good those pulleys are, okay, they don't have any play, everything sounds great, then you come to this BMW, and listen now what it sounds like. Those are guys bad pulleys, they need to be greased, we need to put grease, they have play, and that's number two that we see here in the shop to cause the belt to come off. That bearing on the inside will actually fail, guys. You have a bearing and it will fail. Or sometimes even the plastic pulley can fail because it's, it's a plastic pulley. Eventually it may fail, guys. So if you put a new belt, always put new belt, new tensioner, a new idle pulley and new tensioner pulley as well. Don't be cheap, guys, because you'll be doing the job again. So. That being said, those are very common things that we see. Another thing, if the belt is too old or you have oil leaks like we do, uh, but uh, ours, we're lucky that it didn't make its way on the belt. But if you have a leak on the belt from oil or coolant, that will make your belt soft, it will stretch, the uh, tensioner will not be able to compensate for that slack, and as a result, the belt will be loose and it will come off. Very common as well. Another thing that we see, if you have a failing AC compressor, let's say the compressor is locked up, that pulley will not be moving very easy at all or it may not be moving at all guys. And when you actually activate your AC compressor, the belt may come off or you may even see smoke coming out because the belt and the crankshaft will be running but the compressor will not be guys. And that could happen to power steering pump, alternator or very common one if you have a water pump driven by the serpentine belt. 
okay when they when the water pump develops a play it can kick your belt out as well uh, because water pumps when they fail they develop a play they develop a leak but sometimes before they develop a leak they can develop a play and that can actually throw your bearing uh, your uh, serpentine belt out and uh, in some cases guys not all for instance okay let me show you now this bmw here okay on the crankshaft pulley you may have a bushing okay it's kind of like a rubber bushing between the two parts and this is there to actually uh, catch the vibrations so those vibrations are not transferred to the belt and uh, on other vehicles or vehicles with higher mileage it can those two pieces can separate or the bushing cracks and develops play and your pulley can become wobbly and that can cause the belt to come off as well now for instance on this dodge it's exactly guys the same way okay you see right here that's a problem right there guys so on older vehicles that can definitely happen guys if you have any more questions guys let us know don't hesitate to contact us hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out and see you guys next time